America's largest seafood restaurant chain, Red Lobster, is in a serious financial pinch and filing for bankruptcy protection. CBS's Nikki Batiste reports on why the once popular chain has struggled to reel in customers. Is your favorite food chain silently and gradually going bankrupt? Would changing customer preference and modern dining options here are top 10 fast food chains struggling to survive in 2024. Number 10, Starbucks. Starbucks, the coffee powerhouse we all know and love, has had a bumpy beginning to 2024. They've hit an impressive milestone with record net revenues of $9.4 billion, marking an 8% increase from last year. Sounds great, right? Well, hold on, there are some challenges connected. In North America, Starbucks saw a 5% rise in comparable store sales and a 9% jump in revenues. But the international scene isn't as golden. Political disturbance in the Middle East resulted in a dramatic 11% drop in the same store sales in China. Thanks to reduced consumer spending and economic unpredictability, which are weighing them down. CEO Langsman Narasimhan also admitted the ongoing economic crisis and changing consumer behaviors as a reason. While he's confident in Starbucks' strong brand and innovative tactics, he admits that legal battles over unionization and strategic store closures are top nuts to crack. Still, there is a silver lining. Starbucks expanded its store count by 3% in North America and 10% internationally, collectively over 38,000 stores worldwide. However, investing in employee wages and benefits has pushed up costs, squeezing operating margins, especially abroad. Number 9. KFC KFC is having a tough time in 2024, struggling with diminishing sales and fierce competition. They've seen a 7% drop in same-store sales and a 5.4% fall in consumer traffic. On top of that, rising labor, supplies, and ingredient costs are shrinking their profit margins. Compared to KFC, rivals like Popeyes and Chick-fil-A are doing much better and are stealing the attention with innovative menus and strong marketing, leaving KFC in the dust. Plus, the perception of their food as unhealthy is pushing health-conscious diners to look elsewhere, cutting into KFC's market share. Despite these challenges, KFC has made advances in digital sales and international growth, particularly in China and Europe. But these gains haven't been enough to counter the overall declines in the U.S. market. Number 8. McDonald's Even McDonald's, the world's fast food titan, isn't immune to the economic squeeze of the 2024. CEO Chris Kamzinski noted that lower-income customers are choosing to eat at home, while middle-income consumers are opting for fewer or cheaper menus items. This shift has hurt sales, prompting McDonald's to roll out new value deals to attract bad customers. However, their strategy of hiking prices to keep the profit margin intact has backfired, driving away cost-conscious customers and sparking backlash. This has complicated McDonald's effort to maintain financial stability. Number 7. Sizzler Sizzler, the once iconic buffet steakhouse, is facing severe challenges in 2024. With fewer than 100 locations remaining nationwide, the chain is struggling to maintain profitability. The buffet dining model, once a major draw, has fallen out of favor as health-conscious consumers increasingly avoid shared dining spaces. This shift in preferences, accelerated by the COVID-19 pandemic, has left Sizzler scrambling to attract and retain customers. The company has been forced to cut costs and streamline operations, but these measures have not been enough to counteract the significant decline in customer traffic. With mounting dabs and declining revenues, Sizzler's future looks increasingly uncertain. Unless the chain can adapt its business model to align with current dining trends, it risks entirely disappearing from the restaurant landscape. Number 6. Red Lobster Filing for bankruptcy in the middle of increasing food and labor costs and significant operation losses, Red Lobster has begun to face financial trouble in 2024. The seafood chain, known for its endless shrimp promotions and Cheddar Bay biscuits, plans to close around 60 locations, approximately 10% of its total restaurant, by the end of the year. This downsizing is part of a broader restructuring effort aimed at stabilizing the company's finances. Even with these efforts, analysts remain doubtful about Red Lobster's long-term viability. The chain has struggled to balance its pricing strategy with rising operational costs, leading to shrinking profit margins. In addition to this, changing customer preferences and the increasing popularity of fast casual dining options have further destroyed Red Lobster's market share. The company's owner, Thai Union Group, is considering selling their brand for profit, considering the uncertain future that lies ahead of the seafood stalwart. Number 5. Steak and Shake Steak and Shake, known for its diner-style ambience and hand-dipped milkshakes, has been on a downward spiral, closing nearly 200 locations over the past few years. Declines in customer traffic and same-store sales have led to significant financial losses, totaling $18.9 million. The chain's lack of innovation and poor customer service have driven consumers to competitors, increasing its challenges. The company has attempted various turnaround strategies, including introducing a self-service model and simplifying its menu, but these changes have not reserved its fortunes. Steak and Shake's struggle are example of broader trends in the casual dining sector, where traditional sit-down restaurants are losing ground to more convenient and fast casual options. Without a significant upgrade of its business model and customer experience, Steak and Shake faces the real possibility of fading into the forgotten. Number 4. Kona Grill Known for the upscale casual dining chain specializing in American cuisine with Asian style, 
Connor Grill has struggled since its 2019 bankruptcy filing. Despite being acquired by one group hospitality, Connor Grill has not been able to reverse its downward trajectory. Early 2024 has seen a 4% drop in customer traffic and a staggering 99.7% decrease in same store sales. Highlighting the severity of the financial worries, CEO Manny Hilario has restored the heavy discounts on food and drink to attract price sensitive customers. But these measures have been insufficient in the face of inflation and statistic wages. The high costs associated with maintaining Corner Grill's upscaling dining experiences further complicate profitability. The brand's premium positioning is increasingly at odds with consumers' growing preference for affordable dining options, making its path to recovery even more challenging. Number 3. Buffalo Wild Wings Buffalo Wild Wings a favorite spot for sports fans and wing lovers is caught up in multiple controversies and facing declining customer traffic. The chain has been criticized for serving chicken breasts as boneless wings and for underpaying staff, degrading its reputation. These issues have led to several stores closing up with a dip of customer loyalty. Buffalo Wild Wings' business model is heavily reliant on live sports events to drive traffic. This has become a huge trouble for them. With the decline in live sports viewership and changing consumer habits, the chain has struggled to maintain its customer base. The controversies have only added to the challenges, leading to financial instability. Without significant changes in both operational practices and marketing strategy, Buffalo Wild Wings faces an uncertain future, with the risk of further stores closing up with consistent financial losses. Number 2. Popeyes once a rising star in the fast food industry thanks to its wildly popular chicken sandwich, Popeyes is now struggling with a significant financial load. Since COVID-19 began, Popeye has been heavily hit with financial drain instead of profit, particularly because many of its locations lack drive through lanes. Now, this is actually a critical feature that helped other fast food chains attract the crowd. This has led to substantial losses. A customer opted for the convenience and safety of drive through service offered by competitors. The situation worsened when the recent bankruptcy filing of a major franchise, which has added to another layer of complexity to Popeye's recovery efforts. Despite the initial fame and continued popularity of its chicken sandwich, the chain has struggled to maintain consistent customer traffic. This inconsistency calls for the difficulties Popeyes faces in adapting to evolving consumer preferences and market condition. CEO Sami Siddiqui has acknowledged these challenges and emphasized the need for innovation and operational efficiency. However, as we have mentioned before, the road to recovery is filled with obstacles. The chain must navigate increased competition, rising operational costs, and the pressure of sustaining a strong franchise network. Without adding these core issues and taking steps to correct them, Popeyes' long-term financial stability remains in the dark. Number 1. Quiznos this food chain, once a popular choice for toasted subs, is at the edge of bankruptcy as of 2024. Quiznos, which peaked at 4,700 locations, has now been limited to just 200. This dramatic decline is a result of poor business practices and an inability to adapt to changing customer preferences, leaving Quiznos struggling to stay relevant in a highly competitive market. The core of Quiznos' problem lies in its failure to innovate and keep pace with rivals like Subway. As consumer tastes shift towards healthier and more customizable options, Quiznos still held onto its traditional menu, losing ground to competitors that offered fresher and more diverse choices. Not just that, the company's aggressive franchising model led to many franchises is facing financial hardships due to the high fees and competitive operational requirements. Quiznos has attempted various strategies, including menu upgrading and marketing campaigns. However, these efforts have done little to resist the declining sales and decreasing customer traffic. Unless the chain can significantly reinvent itself and regain customer trust, it risks being bankrupt and joining the ranks of other once popular but now extinct restaurant chains. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. Did we miss any? If so, let us know in the comments. Like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.